Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. So I want to let you know, you are consciousness. That is what you are. You have chosen to manifest patterns of information that appear in your personal reality in the form of conditions, of structures, of families, of finances. At some level, what you have in your life, you have chosen. And sometimes we actually choose by not choosing, but that's a choice as well. Okay. Now, what I've noticed uh, over coaching a lot of people is in, in some aspects or some areas, they have a choice that just doesn't seem to be manifesting. It just doesn't seem to be manifesting. And they, they start to believe that maybe they're not consciousness creating and there's some choice out there that will elude them. And then they think that they need to be a different way that there's something that they must fix about themselves or learn or that they can't quite have it that way. And I was having some great discussions uh, earlier with a small group that, that uh, Rochelle coaches talking about how end results are things that you can create. However, sometimes there's other things that are stopping you have that. And, it, and it's very interesting. So for me, this was a big deal. Okay. I, I had some choices in life that, I had out on my list for a long time and I, and I wasn't able to manifest them. And I was doing the work and I was in end results and I was going for it, but, but some of them would just, would just sit there and it'd be like, oh, why, why does that one not move? Why does that one not move? And I was, I was sitting down and I was, I was asking my super conscious uh, what it is that, uh, that I needed. I, and I got this question, please write this question down. The question was, what would you lose that you value if you were to get what you desire? What would you lose that you value if you were to get what you desire? So I'm there, and I know I'm consciousness creating, and I'm in this end result, and I'm asking it, asking myself, what, what needs to happen? And this question hits me. What would I lose that I value if I was to get this? And I'll tell you my answer in a second, but I sat with it. And I realized that if there was an end result for a lot of people here, and they had a belief that in order to have that end result, they would have to lose their relationship with their kids. They would never go for that end result. And that's obvious, isn't it? That's obvious. But how about this? What if you had an end result and you wanted to create it, but in order to create it, you would have to lose your feeling of being small which would then mean you would lose the connection to your father because the way that you connect to your father is by getting advice from him. Huh? So this result is in contrast of connection with dad. What if there's a husband who comes home every night and complains to his wife about how hard his, or he complains to his husband for that matter. He comes home and he complains and he says, you know, darling, it's been such a hard day, struggling away. And he comes home and he says it every single day for years. So the wife, being a loving wife, codes up a reality where she builds a business. And then one day she retires her husband. And he's excited in the moment. Then a few months later, they start having some serious problems. And then you sit down and you go, why would they be having problems? And what if the only way that the husband knew to 
show that he cares for someone else was to talk about how bad the thing was and then still do it. And he had to give up his way of proving that he loved her. You see that? And so then he had, the whole thing collapses and they have to create a different way. Think about that. What if his way of proving that he loved her was by doing something that he said he didn't like, and that was his, that was his gift? See, when you start to unpack this idea that, that maybe there's something that you're unwilling to lose, okay, that is actually stopping you get what you desire, and it could be far more complex than you could ever imagine. You see, so what if you, you know, you grew up in a household where your, your parents always wanted to travel, but they didn't, you see, and then you're growing up and you wonder why you don't travel. And then unconsciously, you have to, you, you would have to, if you were to actually achieve that end result, you have an unconscious desire to not make your parents feel bad about life because they actually didn't travel to sacrifice uh, and they sacrificed for you. So you unconsciously feel ungrateful to them if you were then to go live out a dream that they had to sacrifice. And so what are you you not willing to lose? Uh, you would never want to risk your parents thinking you weren't grateful. You see that? And so you'd sit out there and you wonder why you're not getting it. It's because there's something else that you're unwilling to let go of does that make sense everyone you see if you were to go live on the other side of the world and that's your true dream but you have a, a spouse or a best friend or a a parent or someone that you love who has an amazing job where you live right now but you want to go live there you see it, it's are you willing to rearrange things and that can be such a big question so what happened to me is I'm sitting there and I'm asking this question and you know what? I get this imagery and this imagery and the choice was to build, you know, a hundred million dollar uh, coaching and consult uh, our business content education. I'm choosing that. And I get this question. What would you have to lose that you value? What would you have to lose that you value in order to get what you desire? And I get this image of a Superman cape. And I was like, oh, I would have to lose being the one that does it all. That's it. And I value that. I value being the one that goes, look how smart Duncan was. Look at that guy. And so I had to shift it and find other ways to feel proud about what I was doing. Does that make sense? Because it was, I was un that's what was there. Didn't matter how much I chose it, didn't matter how much that I was in the end result, I valued being the one crossing the finish line and getting the praise. And then when I shifted that, you know, a long time ago now, when I shifted that and allowed it to be Hannah, Rochelle, Sarah, Alexi, Scotty, everyone else, the company was able to grow. I got the message that I needed to stop being the doer and to be the door, be the opening to it, not the one walking through it. And that was a big shift for me. And so today, what we're going to go through is we're going to look at, you have a current reality here, and then you have a desired reality here. If this current reality is not moving, to your desired reality. And if there is nothing in the way here, if this just feels good, there's nothing in the way. Could it be there is something attached to this current reality that you really value, like a best friend or a way, or, or a way you are with your husband or wife? Could that be? Could it be uh, that there's a feeling of powerlessness here that's connected to a relationship with your father or your mother. And it's actually that that you're unwilling to let go of because you know 
that if you let go of this P for powerless, then you, you have to let go of the way you relate to D for dad. And could it be that there's nothing actually in the way? There's actually a part of you that really needs this to stay where it is. Just some ideas. Just some thoughts I had on a Monday afternoon. And so when you change the end result to have it and have everything that you truly want, it might just flow. So in this example, we've got a desired reality to own our own business. But in order to own our own business, I'm going to put P and L for powerless. In order for us to own our own business, we need to move towards it. But it's not moving because over here, we would be powerful. We'd be powerful. But we're not willing to actually let go of that because it's connected to dad. You see that? And so what we must do is we must change the desired result to include dad. And as soon as we put that desired result there and it's included in the desired result, then we're able to have it. Because the truth is, is what's really happening here is there is a belief that says I have to be powerless to have the relationship with dad, which is not true. Same with the husband who who, who only knows to, to do something that he hates to show that he loves his wife, he needs to find a new way to show that he loves his wife, you see? And so if he changed that end result, puts it there. Just, just like the person who, who does want to go live in a different location, but their spouse or someone has a, has a great, there's a way to have it all. Does that make sense? There's a way to have it all. And that's a really profound thought. So here's the thought. What is it that your unconscious is afraid of letting go of to have what it's choosing? Ooh, what is it? What is it that it values? And I want to just dig right into this. So sometimes when things don't change, despite learning, and intervention, and recode, and coaching, sometimes there's a unconscious objection that says, if I was to have that, there's this here that I would have to lose that I value. One thing that's been big for me is if I was to have that, I lose a bit of the connection to the everyday person. If I was truly... To, to completely step into the super conscious reality that I know is there, that I'm, that I'm touching on, that I'm growing into even more, that I'm expanding. If I was truly to go there, what I value is connection to the common, the common person who doesn't know any of this. And I value that. So I would have to lose that to completely go have it. If you've got a coaching business and you go, well, if I was to have a coaching business, what is it that I value that I might have to lose? It's interesting to think about, isn't it? There's something that you might have to lose it, that you have to value. So if I was to create this good thing that I love, that's a new reality. And in that new reality, this way doesn't exist. So how do I shape reality in the way that I choose it? How do I shape in the way I choose it? Because it's actually a weird belief or a rule structure that says I can only have it this way. So here's some questions. Is there anything? Actually, let's all choose. Uh, let's all choose a choice. Say, eh? do you guys want to get into today? Is this a good session? Give me some energy in the chat box. Is is this relevant to some people? Is maybe one of the reasons why some of your reality is not moving is that there's something you're unconsciously un, uh, unwilling to let go of, 
And is, is it true that we probably just need to like figure out a way to, to get that in our end result? Where's everyone from Rosha's session? I told you this was going to be a good one. All right, so we're going to start unpacking this. So I'd like you uh, to 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 let's let's jump into uh, into a bit of a bit of a structure here. So, what is a choice that you would love to create that's not moving? What is a true choice? What is something you would just love to choose? And for whatever reason, it's not moving. Give me number one when you've got it. Brilliant. Oh, there's a few of you on here today. That's good. Awesome. Thank you. So if you were to, to have that, what would having that do for you? So just, just imagine, imagine that you, you, you know, you're there and you have it. What would having it do for you? What would having it? So if I, had, if I was having that, what would that mean or do for me? Mm. Got it. What would having that do for you? So what you've written to that second question is actually what you want. Next question. Where... When and with whom would you like it? Where, when, and with whom would you like it? Very important. We're unpacking something big here today. The end result, yes. So first question is, what would you love? What would you want to create? What would having that do for you? Third question, where, when, and with whom would you like it? With who specifically? As many people as possible, but who? You don't want to have it with everyone on the whole planet. Who do you really want to have it with? Who do you want to have that end result with? It's very important. Please follow the questions. Where, when, and with whom? Would you like to have, would you have it with? Would you like to have it with? Have what? The end result. Guys, it's pretty simple. Question number one, what would you love to create? Question number two, what would having that do for you? Question number three, where, when, and with whom would you like it? Very simple. Awesome. Your family, your whole family? Yeah? Or who in particular? I want you to be specific, please, because it's not everybody. You know, there's that cousin. Yeah, they don't have to show up. Really, with whom? And maybe it is everyone. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I'm just helping you get it. It's not everyone. You don't want everyone to turn up. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Next question. How will you know when you have it? How will you know when you have it? How will you know? Will you be skipping down the street, holding hands? Will you be driving that new car? How will you know? You'll be standing in front of an audience. 
and there's a bunch of people listening, you'll have a screenshot saying you did a million dollars, you'll have a best-selling book in a bookstore. How will you know? How will you know when you have it? Love it, Ray. How will you know when you have it? Okay, so we've started to explore the end result a bit, okay? So we've said, what would you love to create? What would having that do for you? Where, when, and with whom would you like it? How would you know when you have it? What is the moment that you go from not having it to having it? And how will you know? Okay, so now we get to unpack that. All right, so you should have all of that written out. It should be like, you know, I want to create uh, my dream business. Now I would have freedom. Uh, I'd like to to have this uh, freedom with uh, so with my my spouse, uh, my kids, my best friend. Uh, I'd like to have that as soon as freaking possible. And uh, and uh, you know, I'd be having it where I live. Like I would have that here now. Cool. I would know I have this amazing business because I'd see this much money come into my bank account. Um, you know, I'm looking at my online business portal. Great, I got it. Okay. So awesome. Now these questions were specific because now we get to unpack. How will having this affect significant people and situations in your life? It can affect them positively and negatively. I just want you to write down how will having that, how will having this affect significant people and situations in your life? Remember, if you get financial freedom, that affects your kids, your friends, your husband, your wife, your, your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you, you know, your, your, it affects everyone. How will it affect them? So those people you wrote down, and you might say, well, it will affect this person. They'll become jealous of me or affect this person because now they can go to a better school or it will affect this person because now they can retire. So how does this affect the people in your life? It can be both negative, it can be positive, okay? Someone said, I won't be relying on other people, which is interesting because maybe they get a lot out of you relying on them. Yeah, cool. Awesome. And just notice how you might feel if you were them witnessing and receiving what it is that that you've achieved just really sit with this how will having this affect significant people and situations in your life How will it affect them? They might not have to work anymore. They might feel inspired. They might feel that they don't, that they're not as good, good enough. They might feel angry. They might feel like you have nothing in common anymore. How will it affect it? Hmm. How will it affect it? Because we've got to realize as we create, it affects others, including including uh, the both positive and negative. Awesome. How will having this affect? And I really want you to sit with this. How will this affect people in your life, you know? If you go make millions of dollars, well, how does that affect your spouse? If you go and suddenly lose weight, how do they feel? Good and negative. There's, there's never just positive. If you're someone just writing the positive down, you're not seeing the other side of the human experience. Mm. How would your friends react? How would you react? What situations might change? Really feel into it. It's very interesting. Okay. Very interesting to consider. So here's the, yeah, someone's typed in, they, they would feel smothered. 
And you might ask, do they want to feel smothered? Could be good or bad. I don't know. Is that something that they've chosen? Unconsciously, for some, some of us, sometimes we avoid the end result because we unconsciously know that it's going to change dynamics around us that we actually value. So it's very interesting. Thank you for a lot of good feedback in the chat box. Last question. What might you lose that you value if you were to have this great outcome? What might you lose that you value? What might you lose that you value? Wow, you guys are doing great. Thank you. What might you lose that you value? It's a hard question, friends. We're not, we're not here to, to do, do a small session today. Well done, Fiona, well done. What might you lose? Could be uh, a feeling of connected to people, could be a complete relationship, could be you might change suburbs and lose a, a whole country, you might move countries. What might you lose that you value? Excuses, yeah, a lot of our unconscious uh, values excuses, it's much better. Free time, lose their sympathy, yeah. Seeing friends, lose working hard, yeah. I remember one time I did this process and I had to lose the value of being able to tell my parents how hard I was working. And I valued that. I valued being able to connect in their world, yeah. I valued it for sure. It was scary to, to not have any complaints. Yeah. I'm just leaving the, the, a little bit of space here for you to, to contemplate the question. What might you lose that you value? Just consider it. So if I was to have that... So it's two questions that kind of paired together at the end here. How will having this affect significant people and situations in your life? First question. Second question. What might you lose that you value if you were to have this great outcome? Hmm. What do, so someone's typed in um, playing small. What does that give you? Playing small gives me what? So I want you just to unpack what it is that you, you, you've written. What does that give me? So I might say that I lose that, but what am I really losing with that? Very cool. You guys are doing brilliant. This is awesome to see this in the chat box. So proud of you all. And so, so it's, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant set of questions because it reveals the truth. You know, it reveals the truth that you might lose that. You might lose that. And, and when you think about what you've written down, can you appreciate that why you're unconscious would not want to lose that. Can I get a yes for that? Can you appreciate why it might, why it's, you know, might not want to lose that? Yeah, can you, can you see benefit in it? Can you see benefit? Yeah. Um, someone's asking, what if you just weren't meant to have it? I don't think there's that such a thing. You create what you what you choose. There's no such thing as meant to have or not meant to have. You're meant to have what you you create. So does that make sense? So so you guys are so you're all getting it, hey? You're really getting it. 
you can all you can all see and appreciate right now why your unconscious has created it so to yourself can you now just realize your current reality actually serves a purpose your current reality actually serves a purpose which is to do what you've just unpacked you see that and so if you look at my example here this current reality of staying powerless keeps connection with dad so it serves a purpose there's not that that's a loving thing to do it says dad i will stay powerless so that we that you feel powerful you see and so so that's great it serves a purpose can you appreciate your unconscious was never fighting you it, it's just using an outdated way to get that which you desire now since we're consciousness creating and everything is possible can't we choose an end result and get the experience that we desire so let me ask you a question are there many other ways for someone to get connected with their father other than choosing to be powerless obviously so what if we have the first creation cr to dr is for this person to create the business that they want and then what if the second creation is to create the loving relationship with dad what if all we do is take that way of doing things and bring a second end result to our choices list and if this person has their dr of desired reality to create a successful business and then has a second one to create a loving relationship with dad would they then be able to get everything that they love so what if what if you were to take what it is that you've written down there so you say uh, i choose in the end result of this but my unconscious is scared of losing that. So what if we take the that and add a second choice? So now I choose the business and I choose that. So you get both of what it is that you love. What if instead of trying to tell your unconscious off, you appreciated there was something that it needed to find a different way to create? And what if you were so busy trying to get out there and create success, but your unconscious thinks if you have success, then you'll lose your health or you'll lose your family or you'll lose your this. And so there's no way it's letting you create success. Is that if all you do is put that outcome out there as well, and now your unconscious gets equal attention on creating a happy and healthy body or happy and healthy family and that success and you then it's equal and then now it goes great so i'm going to get it there and it flows to both of them what if you weren't broken and what if the current reality that you created was designed in an elegant and uh, successful way to get things that you really truly value and what if the way that you've set up your end result is actually causing a conflicted argument to your unconscious and that as soon as you find a different way to get that love or connection or sense of security then you can have both of them Uh, you would do these as separate end results.
Who's having a good session today? Bria's blowing away. Frank, I think you should choose to have everything that you want. Absolutely. However, if you've got a desired reality that is not moving because of one big thing that you need, I would, I would put that there and go, right. So I'm going to create a successful business and I'm going to create a loving marriage because my unconscious is so scared to go have the successful business because the way that I have a successful marriage is I'm the stay-at-home husband. Make sense? So uh, I'm the stay-at-home husband. If I was to go and have that, then this would change. So I need to break those apart so I can have both. Who's following that? You may need to do the session again, now knowing the answer. You can have exactly what you want. As soon as you stop trying to control how it has to show up in your life. If the only way for dad and you to have a connection is for you to feel powerless, you are not super conscious. I'll say it again. You can have exactly what you want as soon as you stop trying to control what shows up in your life. Accept the grace and love that you are and trust that things are just meant to be. When you accept where you are, let go of the emotionally charged state of duality when you truly let go and just create it as you want it, then you, you, you have this evolutionary jump in, in, uh, in the way that you experience your time here. And all of you out here, I want to say one thing to you. If you spend one year as a creator, you get more life than someone that spends 90 years stuck in problem orientation. You do. I would trade one year on the creative edge of manifestation, having my heart out open, going for what I love for 80 years of playing into other games and self-programming stuckness. So I don't care how many years you've had on the planet. If you get one, five, 10 years living a creative essence, it's more than most. So, next question. What needs to change in my end results in order for me to have everything I desire? What is my unconscious missing out of in my end result? So, for example, I was working with a private client today and she had an end result that she would basically do anything for uh, and nothing else mattered. She'd give up everything for it, but parts of her wouldn't give up everything. So all we need to do is change it so that I will have the success and enjoy it and everything enjoyment needed to be added. See, another one wants to create like a, you know, a, an amazing and it be an amazing mother to be, to be the best mom. What does it need to, to give up this idea that others are broken? And that they need to be fixed, just choosing it as it is. And, you know, another one, choosing to create, uh, you know, happiness on, on, on planet Earth, but, but trying to do it in, uh, in a reality where never feeling overwhelmed exists. So here's the question. What needs to change in your end result for me to have everything I desire? Do I need to add a new end result or do I need to alter it? So guys, just stick with me for a second here. If you have the end result of building a uh, successful business, we'll use this one again. And as you want to go for it, the successful business, your unconscious believes that if I was to have that, I would lose the connection uh with my my husband you would then add a new end result that i choose 
uh, a great loving relationship with my husband or, or just a great loving relationship. That would mean you're, you're, you're going for those things that you need. If you got, uh, you're choosing the, the end result of the business and then when you unpack it, you're so scared of losing, uh, you know, this, this connection with a certain person or with, uh, you know, being a good mother, for example, you think, oh, if I was to have that business, I have no time with my kids. So what, what's the experience that I want to have? Well, I choose the end result of a successful business and I choose the end result of having magical moments with my children. It's only our belief that we can't have it all that stops us choosing it. It's only our belief that it's us that has to do it all that stops us saying, well, I choose that and I'll have that and I'll have that. It's only our uh, patterning that stops us sitting at the, the menu of the universe and picking off that which we choose. So I've got to let you in on a secret. We're all choosing it the way we want it including the current reality. The current reality is only chosen to be the way it is because of the way you think you need to be to have the things that you desire. That person who, who chose to stay powerless to get connection with, with dad, that is an elegant creation. Does that make sense? That is an elegant creation and it makes sense. This is how you know you're not broken. That is a way to do it. There's another way that that can be done and you can get the same outcome you can get the same outcome. You are allowed to have it all. You're allowed. If no one else has ever given you permission, permission. You have permission. You're allowed to have it your way. And interestingly, you've always had it your way. <laughs> you've always had it your way. You just haven't realized that there was things that you were holding on to. So are you willing and able uh, to, to give up how you have been and to create a new way of being? Because you still want the, the relationship with dad. You still want this. You still want. You still want. There's just going to have to be different ways because being powerful, a powerful creator can't exist if you have to be a powerless uh, uh, son or daughter but you can find a different way to create the same connection. You see that? There's a different way to get it. And so the point of today is that sometimes we need to examine what benefits we're getting from our limitations. We need to examine what benefits we're getting from our stuckness because it's naive to think that there's no benefit to it. Someone who always has drama in their life gets everyone's attention. That is it. They, they need, they desire attention. So they create drama. They get angry at the drama. I wish I had no drama. Well, you need to find a different way to get attention. What needs to change in my end result in order for me to have everything I desire, super conscious, unconscious, and self-conscious? What we're really asking is how would I really like it? If you were starting from scratch today, just taking what you know, how would you choose it to be? Really, how would you choose it to be? Because you're the author of your life. You see, you can have absolutely everything that you choose once you stop trying to control how it shows up. So there I am and I get these messages and I get these downloads and I realize I say, well, first, I swear first when my superconscious swears at me and I go, Chris, do you want the end result or do you want to be the one who does it all? Do you just want to have the conscious education company impacting millions of people? Or do you have to be the one that does it? No, I mean, whew. no, I said, what value do I get by doing it? Uh, I feel pride in creating. Huh. 
that makes sense. So if I take out the pride in, a, in, in the, the satisfied feeling of a good, good day's work, hmm, how else could I get that satisfaction? I went, how else could I get the satisfaction of the pride? And I was like, oh, I will create the content once and then I can empower thousands to teach it. I was like, that does it for me. Instead of being the speaker, I will be the creator. Huh. I added that in. And instead of being speaking, 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 I started to focus on building things that other people could step into. And that became the choice. And I get everything that I want. And that's what was there for me. And so we're going to do the wisdom process for you. The, there are other ways for you to get that which you are currently getting in ways that are blocking other choices. So put another way. There is a way for you to have it all. We just got to come up with some creative thinking uh, to figure out how it is going to be that you do have it all. Remember, what you really do want to have it all is the how it feels. What I really wanted was the pride and joy of a, you know, a, I love the feeling of a good day's work where I've applied myself, I've gone all in and I've done something and I, I, I like that. It's a feeling I want to experience. Does that make sense? So I needed to find a way to get that because I wanted the feeling. Hey, Chris here again. I hope you really enjoyed that session. Obviously, it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program. If you'd like to be involved in that program, please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious.